Hey everyone, welcome to another pour video. Today's video features one of the weirdest paintings I've ever made. Uh, it's definitely not pretty. Um, I'm not even sure if I really like it yet or not, but I used a couple of different techniques in it and I thought that people would probably be interested in watching the techniques at the very least. Um, so I actually uh, posted a picture of this painting on my Facebook pouring group last night because I was so on the fence about whether or not I would actually post a video. But I received a whole bunch of encouragement to do so. So here it is. Um, I decided that I was going to use a purple negative space and uh, this turned out to be kind of like a giant waste because I covered up almost all the purple. <laughs> Which in retrospect, I wish I had just used way less paint because uh, that purple is so pretty. I actually had a different, uh, a couple different tones of purple in there. And so it kind of had this awesome uh, kind of uh, variety, I guess, to the background, but anyways, so this is like mistake number one. I, I covered up most of my beautiful purple background. And, uh, so for the bag part of it, I was using up my leftover paints from my previous pour, um, I had just put a, a couple drops in silicone of silicone in there, and uh, I think that mistake number two was again I had problems um, opening up my bag on the bottom. I, I keep on trying different ways of uh, temporarily sealing the bag while I'm throwing the paint in there, and this time around I had a really difficult time. Uh, taking off the elastic that was sealing it and I think that might have contributed to all my colors coming out of my poem bag uh, to being like kind of muddy and squished together. I've really got to get one of those Ikea clips that people were talking about in my comments. So it's like a no fuss way of uh, you know releasing the paint for me. So at this point, I was, uh, well, wasting paint there. I didn't know what to do. And I wanted to see if there was like a, more colors uh, at the back of the bag, but there wasn't. I cut out a big section because there's a lot of humming and hawing. And I didn't like like the majority of the stuff that came out of the piping bag. So I decided to do a pour cup and do the swirl technique again. And I was feeling a little adventurous and I decided that I was gonna really travel along while uh, doing the swirl. So I made an intestine or salami or something kind of weird and <laughs> it looks way different than the rest of the painting. And so I decided that I needed to put in an accompanying um, swirly intestine thing beside it. <laughs> this is like a pretty deep down the rabbit hole of not knowing when to stop messing with a painting. You notice that I cut out big portions of the video there. It's just because, uh, you know... It was actually a really long video, and I accidentally missed, uh, sorry, mixed my um, my cups off camera. So you're just like sitting there and staring at the painting. So I thought I'd just cut out those big sections. So here's a close up of the strangeness that's going on. Uh, let me know what you think. So I appreciate you watching my weird painting. 
I hope that you have a great day. Goodbye.